Today has definitely been one of those lazy Sundays. Yesterday was an extremely long day for me. We had dinner at a seafood broil spot and then we went to Ross, did a little bit of shopping there. And then after that, we had went to Barnes and Nobles where I picked up a new book. We got home around 10.30 at night and then I started working on a new video which it's new, but it's not new. I had filmed the video back in January, but I've been like not in the best creative headspace lately. And I really just needed a break from YouTube because I didn't want to produce videos that I didn't feel like were worthy to post, you know? So I just took a long ass break from it and now I'm doing better. I actually have a few videos that I had filmed since January, but I never edited them. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna edit them or not. If I do, I will be posting them, but I'll just be titling them with the month that they were filmed. So like no one's getting confused if it's like the old video or a new video. I've been on this really big reading binge lately I started reading heavily in May and I've read four books since then which four books might not seem like a lot but when you work full-time and you have a toddler at home four books is a lot to me I haven't spoke on it yet but I am pregnant I am currently 22 weeks pregnant David and I are having a, another girl and I am so excited to watch Alani become a big sister and just to see her and the baby have a bond they're only gonna be almost two years apart i'm doing november and alani was born in december so two under two y'all pray for me but we are so happy we are so excited and i want to make like a whole separate video about how my pregnancy has been going because i have documented zero zero this pregnancy i feel so bad because when i was pregnant with alani i like recorded everything and with this one i'm just like eh. i don't know i just haven't been feeling it lately but I am gonna make a video for you guys. I do feel like I'm still pretty small. I'll show you guys my little um, 22 week bump. Overall though, I'm feeling really good. The beginning of my pregnancy did start off more rough than it was with the Lani, but I'm better now. I'm feeling good. I'm still working out. I'm still running. Um, I don't feel like restricted in any of my like usual day-to-day -day activities, which is good. Obviously, I'm more tired than what I was before, but that's normal when it comes to pregnancy. But yeah, I don't want to talk too much about it because like I said, I do plan on filming a separate video on how my pregnancy has been going so far. Okay, so the first book that I read was called The Silent Patient, and this one was recommended to me by my friend Diana. I give it a four out of five. It was kind of hard for me to get into, but once I got to the middle of the book, it was so good. It's basically about this girl, her name's Alicia, who she is, or she, she's an artist, and she killed her husband. She had went into a mental institution, and she was just silent. Like, she never spoke about why she killed him, just completely silent. And then there's this therapist, his name is Theo. He basically wanted to work at the institution that she was at to try to get her to talk and try to get answers from her, and... I wasn't ready for the ending. The next book that I read was called The Housemaid. Loved this book so much. I got this book recommendation off of TikTok. Basically, it's about this girl named Millie. She had a record and she was living out of her car, needed a job. She ended up working as a housemaid for this one family and there was just so many secrets within the house that she ended up uncovering and yeah i don't want to talk about it too too much without ruining it but please like out of all the books read this one if you're gonna read something read this one this one was so good i am pretty sure you've guys seen this book around have heard of it somewhere verity um it was recommended by my friend diana again and i give this one a four and a half out of five i loved it but i just think i was so much more in love with the housemaid that it was hard for me to give it a five when i was so intrigued by that book basically what this book is about is verity is a writer she ends up having some type of accident where she wasn't able to write anymore her husband had reached out to another arthur 
author who writes similar to how his wife writes um she ended up moving into the house with the husband and verity and she started going through all of Verity's stuff just to get um notes to help finish out like the series of books that she needed to complete and then she started reading some interesting things and started finding out that there's a lot more to Verity than you think. The last book that I completed was The Housemaid's Secret so it is the second part for The Housemaid so it's about Millie again and this time Millie is working with a different family and again I don't want to like ruin the first book so I can't really say too too much without me like giving away what happened but let's just say with that family there's more secrets that she ends up uncovering and she finds herself in a situation where she doesn't know what to do like she doesn't want to get involved but she feels like she needs to get involved and i think this one was so much better than the first book um so like six out of five for this one i would read this one over again so good so read this one and read the first one obviously you have to read the first one to figure out what the second one's about but yes read 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 the housemaid secrets can you say hi hi say hi can mommy have some? Mmm. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. That's so good. One more. Mmm. Thank you. Mommy don't want any more. Besito. Mmm. Ah, thank you. This Georgia Heat is not one to play with. Your girl got a freaking sweat mustache going on. Like, look at all how uh, glowy from the sweat I am. It's not even like a good glow. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's really hard, not hard, but you know, like during the week at work, I kind of do the same thing over and over again. So there really wasn't much to film at work but it's something different you know just vlogging a few days instead of just one full day being committed to vlogging so i would like your guys's opinion on how you like that like is this something that i should keep going do you guys like just the daily vlog so let me know but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.